Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another The Expanse reaction. We are about to watch episode 9 of season 3. Last episode, Rocinante went inside this ring, this portal, and Miller was talking to Holden the entire episode. At least he was trying to talk. It was really interesting uh, because the things he said, uh, we got some information about what's going on. Looks like proto molecule. Uh, and this ring, it's reaching out to something, to somewhere, but there is no response. So it creates Miller, like from that, his consciousness, I guess. It's like a projection of Miller's mind. And Miller is supposed to figure out something. He's supposed to find something to, I guess, help this ring and protomolecule to contact with something and that's why we've been seeing Miller because he needs I mean the proto molecule needs uh, Holden and his ship to go somewhere like it's just proto molecule using Miller's consciousness to accomplish something so this ring this structure I guess supposed to contact with Whoever created it, whoever sent proto molecule here, I guess they wanted these rings around maybe different parts of the universe. Maybe it's a wormhole so they can travel different parts of the universe easily. At least that's what I'm thinking right now. But this ring can't contact with the place it's supposed to contact. So there is something wrong with it and uh, to figure out what's going on proto molecule is using miller's consciousness and it also needs holden's help i guess that's why uh, holden has been seeing miller and they went inside the ring now we are going to see what's on the other side is it like a some kind of middle way between like a two wormholes two of these rings or is it just teleports to somewhere but since there is something wrong with this one, I'm assuming they are not going to end up in a different galaxy or something. Everyone is coming to this ring right now. The new Belter nation, UN, Mars, everyone is coming here because, of course, this thing is too big to ignore. They want to know what it is. They want to benefit from it if they can. And it's really putting everyone on the edge. They are, like, ready to explode any moment like that uh, explosion with that small ship uh, that Melba character planned it I think she was trying to frame Holden for something uh, maybe she wanted Holden dead or our crew dead or maybe she was just trying to start some kind of war and she almost succeeded like that explosion and that fake video message almost caused this ships to fire at each other they were really tense at that moment but our crew managed to get inside the ring i am sure everyone else is going to follow once they see rossi going inside safely uh, belters yuan and mars they are all going to send their ships inside the ring so now we need to figure out what this thing is what is it trying to do and why does it need holden or Miller. Uh, so let's stop wasting time and jump into this episode. Power grid still throwing bolts. We lost it again. Reset it. Uh, this ship doesn't work well. They keep having problems. Chief Engineer Naomi Nagata, what are you doing? She tried to stop them, but she can't. At that point, they had no choice. You know, we had to do it. If we hadn't, the inners would if have. If you've killed them, me later. Work now. How is this going to change Naomi's relationship with OPA? <laughs> this is the inside of the ring. That torpedo engine, it's burning like crazy, but it's not gaining, but that thing should have rammed itself up our tailpipe by now. Yeah, this thing, it just stops anything moving fast. You're saying that if things go too fast around here, something gets nervous and grabs them? Yeah, that's exactly what happening. It's like something's around us. It's like we're in some kind of goddamn bubble. So is it like a 
middle place between maybe two wormholes. Like they are nowhere at this point. Oh, there is something that's where things go after they are caught. I mean, it may still be like protomolecule, you know, grabbing things for materials, biomass. I don't want to get into anyone's firing range until we can explain that that message was fake. The message came from here. Okay, do we have any thoughts on how that happened? Oh, Amos is going to figure out he caught that guy sneaking around before. Yeah, Amos caught this guy before. It was just supposed to be a back door so we could get nav and com logs, background information, stuff you might not tell us. Oh, they fooled this guy too. It's all from that woman. Looks like a probe. Oh, they are testing the ring. Now they are going to go inside. Everyone is coming here now. That's it. They are just testing if you can go in and out. If you go slow. <laughs> oh god, there it is. <laughs> oh god, everyone's coming here. If we stop, they'll board us. Are you ready to give up this ship? No. And they can't really fire at you. E even if they do, it's just going to stop. You're gonna tell me everything I need to know. Don't fuck this ship. He just replaced one of those cards. I mean, maybe it's not that complicated. We need Miller again. Miller! Oh, he's not coming back. But why? He wanted Holden inside here. I am immediately recording all civilian presence from the UN mission. Okay, now this makes sense. They can't have these people around the ring. I'm taking my ass to Titan. Where's Rin? Pretty sure he was on the Sun Moon. What is she going to do? She didn't get Holden killed, so... It's so frustrating, I wish we could stay on board. I feel the same. To come so close, and be turned aside. I mean, these people shouldn't have been here in the first place. Well, at least the company will be good on Titan. I'm sure you'll have a lovely time. You don't plan to join us? So they can stay if they want? <laughs> oh, now we are going to learn who that Melba woman is. For your permission, you are not going to. Oh, she is Ma's daughter. I always listen to you. He does. You are so ungrateful. You're small minded and spoiled and stupid. Fuck you! I think we are seeing the fallout between Julia and her father. Party's over. Send them home. Pulling the racing team for the rest of the season. I could take over for her. Don't be absurd. So is she doing this for her father? Like a payback? That would make sense. God, this thing looks so weird. Who was your contact? I never met them. Try again. I don't know. I swear. Yeah, that's the card. He just switched that one. Will this help you fix the comms? You're damn divine, huh? That's a Naomi thing. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. And these guys don't know anything about this ship. Oh fuck, Amos. I'm gonna ask you this once, and then I'm gonna kill her. Oh god. How do I fix my ship? He's going to that dark place again. Let him answer. Answer me! Jesus Christ, sometimes, you know, Amos changes that thing. Like he becomes this other person almost the Shusen just launched a couple of probes one's heading back to the no i think they are testing this place match their course and speed stay ahead of them but how much they can run i mean this place is not infinite lost that second probe okay don't touch the bubble blinked out of existence yeah, definitely don't touch the bubble. Whatever this thing is, it's really weird. So, we, uh, we turn and the MCRN catches us and uh, we go straight and we're gonna reach the other side of that bubble. Okay, now they need to contact the other ships. 
and Miller is not helping. We strongly advise against anyone going through the ring until we have fully assessed the situation. That's not going to happen. Mars is trying to stop others from going inside. The MCRM poked their head back out to tell us all that they get to arrest Holden that we should just sit on our hands while they do it. <laughs> there is no way that's going to happen. We're going through. We didn't come all the way out here to be told to stay in our place. Yeah, exactly. There is no way anyone is staying out of this place. Everyone is going in now. Now I know what you're feeling. Guilty, yeah, because we put your old crew in danger. Well, guilt is like salt. You put a little on and it hides all the bitterness. And this guy is really interesting. They keep giving more into his character. I left the OPA long before I left the Rosie. And now you're back here with us and we need you here. Okay, he doesn't want her to leave. That's the entire point here, but I think she will. Once they are inside that place, once she realizes what's going on, she will go back to Rocinante. Everything okay in there? Holden's still trying to contact Miller. I would have I called down. I, I just didn't want to interrupt, you know, just in case uh, you were... Um... <laughs> no Miller, nothing new. Why isn't he showing up now? They are inside. They did what he wanted. What is he doing? Oh, he's, crazy. You better button up. I thought you oh, he's not going to kill them. He's. What is he doing? Well, I was thinking, since the comms are down, the only way to communicate is in person. And Mars isn't looking to arrest them for stealing a ship, so. Oh, that's actually smart. <laughs> he's sending these two as messengers. <laughs> hey, wait! Make sure you tell them we didn't blow up the Sang Yoon. Tell them what really happened, please. Okay, I guess you can go outside in this place. Maybe no, it's uh, something different. It still acts like the other space. Oh, it's fascinating, isn't it? it? Certainly is. It's not going to be the same seeing it from Titan. Oh, Anna doesn't want to leave. Really, Pastor? Aren't you married? Yes, I'm <laughs> married. I'm actually surprised she's trying so hard to stay here, considering she has a family and she really doesn't have anything to do here. The executive officer is about to retire, and well, he's applied for a job at one of my mother's companies. Do you think you can pull strings for her too? Yeah, she's just trying to stay to... It's the first miracle that's happened in my lifetime. It's the only miracle that's happened in my lifetime. She is looking for a religious explanation in this thing? If I said I felt cold, that would be pushing it. It would. <sighs> or is it just curiosity, you know? I guess you don't have to be a scientist to have that curiosity towards something like this. I knew there was something off about this guy. Makes you wonder what else he was lying about. Everything he said he did probably. Oh, is that what she's trying to do? Make Holden look bad and somehow prove her father's innocence? She killed this guy. I don't think she was planning that part. She just wanted Holden to look bad. Melba Cole. She has some real potential. With a little mentoring, she could be an outstanding technician worth investing in. Yeah, that guy was trying to help her. I'm tired of you and your holier than thou crap. I guess she was always in the shadow of Julie. My father is a damaged man. You're never gonna be good enough for him. Yeah, looks like she's still trying. But that's not the kind of person Jules Pierre Mao is. Uh, I don't think he ever cared about this girl. Nothing. Couldn't shut Miller up before, now he's just gone. Why isn't he contacting him? Our only hope is that Monica and Cohen put in a good word for us. <laughs> yeah. um, I wouldn't really count on that. I don't know if they're actually going to do it. Or even if they do. 
Martians maybe not going to believe them. We slow down, let them board us. We'll see we were sabotaged and we'll clear our names. Yeah, sounds like the only option. It's either that or we die. I didn't think it'd end like this. God, I hope they don't lose Rocinante. Oh no, Balthers are coming. Is she planning an escape to return to Rocinante? But you're not. I guess they needed this speech. The place we go is the place we belong. <laughs> God, I love this. Ashworth is beginning this support. And we don't feel fear. This moment belongs to us. God. I like their excitement, but this is really making things a little dangerous. Oh god, they are going inside. And look at the size of this thing. Like Behemoth is like a one kilometer wide and this ring is just huge. I mean, whoever built this thing or planned it, uh, I don't know what kind of ships they use. I found a way for us to stay. Just don't ask too many questions because it's... <laughs> You know, I don't think this guy wants to stay. I signed up to fight dusters and skinnies, not whatever the hell that thing is. You're a marine for God's sake. People are getting scared, they are trying to run away. I mean, it's only normal. I'm so frightened that you're willing to pass up your chance to be part of this. It's first contact. Yeah, not everyone is excited about it. If it were just me, I would. But I have family. And my son is 11. I mean, she has a family too, and I'm really surprised she's doing all these. I was wrong before. God is not with us out here. And I can't blame him for being scared. I think it's the logical thing to do at this point. I'm going through the ring, and I won't hear your voice uh, until I'm back. And uh, I, w I will. It's a really scary situation. Like you don't even know if you are going to come back from this. But she is still going through. My name is Melba. Hi. Are, are you staying aboard for the transit? Yes. Yeah. Me too. Melba still has a job to finish. I guess this wasn't enough for her. She knows how to make me angry. That's true. She reminds me what it's like to be young. I guess Julie was like Jules Pierre Ma. That's why he loved her so much. She refuses to be stopped, even by me. What do you do? You plan parties. Oh, God. Oh, well. Yeah, she's still trying to impress her father by doing this. I need to get a message to my father. His name is Jules Pierre Ma. Oh, God. Yeah. Are we ever going to see Jules Pierre Ma again? And instead of being held as a visionary, you're rotting away in jail. Oh, she's going after Holden. That message wasn't enough for her. She wants him dead. And she's all doing all this to, I guess, impress her father. Behemoth is inside with all those other ships. Naomi is leaving, I knew it. I thought Ashva was being paranoid. Lock down the skiff, he say. Oh, they are going to keep her here. She needs to go to Rosinante and fix it. Things are getting dangerous. We are your people. And I love you. Oh. I always will. Was there something between these two? I didn't notice. And without even a word to me. I was afraid you wouldn't let me go. Oh, this reminds her the other time she tried to left OPA. Like when her son was taken. Don't go too fast. 
ass out there. <laughs> How is she going to catch up with Rosinante? There is a speed limit. What are you slowing down for? You were doing fine. <laughs> He's back finally, God. I want to know exactly what you know. So you want to talk about the non-local quantum hologram? The phase conjugate adaptive waves resonating in microtubules in the brain? <laughs> you catch up. I'll wait. Let's talk about crime scene. Crime scene. <laughs> Okay, I love this. Went to the station to the nucleus. That that thing in the middle of the place that grabbed the ship and the torpedoes. Well, that's why Miller didn't show up. They were going towards that middle thing, and that's where they are supposed to be. You coming or not? Okay, proto molecule needs hold them in that core. Yeah, but they can't hear you. She really needs to catch up and fix their comms. Hang in there. I'm coming. <laughs> they really need Naomi right now. They can't fix shit. Oh god, Holden is going outside, like, all by himself? They are not going to take Rossi. There it is core of this thing, whatever it is. Yeah. I don't like when our crew split up like this. It's really making me nervous. Alright guys, that was episode 9 of season 3 of The Expanse. We had another excellent episode. We saw the inside of this ring. Uh, looks like it's some kind of bubble with a core in the center. And uh, Miller wanted Holden to go into that core, that crime scene, as he put it. Uh, I don't know what they expect from that place, but whatever is wrong with this ring, why it can't reach to maybe its creators, it's like their, I don't know, main planet. Uh, reason must be in that core, maybe they need Holden there for... Some, some kind of repair, some kind of further investigation with Miller because that's the entire point of this Miller projection uh, it's just trying to understand what's going on, what's wrong and they needed Holden now they are going there, I guess we are going to see how this thing is supposed to work, what is wrong with it what is supposed to look like when it's fully functional because at this point it's just a it's just this bubble with the ring with the gate on our side I expected it to be more like a wormhole maybe a passageway between two rings and it's going to be interesting to find out what this thing really is what we have Naomi coming towards Rocinante, our Chris going to come together, hopefully. But Holden left the ship, he's going outside alone, so there is that. Things are getting a little heated because everyone is going inside the ring. Uh, Mars tried to like stop others from entering this place. Belters of course didn't accept it, so we have all these people going inside the ring. And when they were entering the ring, I noticed the size difference between Behemoth and the ring. Like we know, the Nabu was like a one kilometers wide and two kilometers long. And when it entered the ring, we saw how small it looks compared to the ring. So if this ring is built by a alien civilization to be used for like transportation, for example what kind of ships they are using like imagine the size of the ships they must be using if they need such a big portal gate whatever it is so i really want to learn what is going on with this thing who built it who sent it here why did they send it uh, i guess it's going to be the end of this season when we maybe learn something some kind of reveal at least that's what i'm hoping for uh, but that's all i can say about this episode thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one